I'm back. So while you're gone, I went ahead and got the bottom triple clamp put back on, fork locks on, put the swing arm back on, rear shocks on, and thought I'd better get the engine cleaned up because I think I'm going to put the engine in next. Um, I still have to chase down a cylinder base gasket and uh, cylinders honed so I can, I can basically put it back together. I just got to find a gasket if I can. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and just put a little, clean that gasket with a bit of uh, acetone or something and then uh, put some gasket cinch on it and you know hope for the best so that's the plan today I'm going to go ahead and get that cleaned up and move on from there so today's music choices are going to be a, uh, a new album by my friend George Marinelli called Burn It Down and then I've got um, Elton John it's like his first uh, Tumbleweed Connection album which was a great album and I really dug Elton John prior to him uh, you know, going disco and whatnot, and follow that up with uh, Steely Dan from the Can't Buy a Thrill album, but I don't believe that because I think you can buy a thrill, because I bought that, so we've disproven Steely Dan's theory. I also have some uh, Bluetooth earbuds, courtesy of my daughter Audrey, so there won't be any more uh, embarrassing episodes. So this is my makeshift solvent tank because I don't have a solvent tank. And we're going to use a little uh, mineral spirits, which I've come to find out you can't buy in California anymore. So breaking the law. Well, pretty clean. It's what we call a uh, good enough clean. I learned that from, from somebody. I always hear, oh, that's good enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised it came up as good as it did. This yellowing I thought was caused from the, um, the exhaust because it had a bit of a leak between the head and the, muff the head pipe and the muffler. And I thought it was just like gas and oil residue on it. But what I think it is, they, they used to uh, uh, clear coat, like paint, like enamel type of stuff, these cases. And I think it's just, I think it's just UV yellow, to tell you the truth. And I'm not going to spend hours scrubbing that out because I read Hot Rod magazines and they say the patina is good. I'm going to go with the patina. That's all pretty clean. The only concern is, once I got the grease off of the counter shaft sprocket, that thing's looking pretty ragged. So... I may have to hunt down a counter shaft sprocket, which isn't going to be easy because uh, 120 Suzuki Bearcat was not a massively popular bike. But yeah, it's pretty clean. I feel okay about that. It's not it's not uh, greasy or nasty, so I'm going to let that go. So next job is going to be to fix this wiring. I have to put the ends back on it, but I think I'm going to extend these, make it a little easier to um, to get them snapped back together and back up in the frame. Um, I used brake cleaner, about a half a roll of blue paper towels, some scrapers and tiny brushes, and the now the now unavailable odorless mini mineral spirits that do indeed have an odor. So all good. Um, on to the wiring. That'll be next job. So it's a couple days later, it's uh, Tuesday, and I worked on this thing on Saturday. And uh, I was going to put the motor in today, but I realized that uh, when I went to put the wiring back together, which is very brittle, um, that I'm missing one of the connector bullets off of, off of three of these wires. I do have two of them, and I think the third one 
is still stuck in the rectifier. So that got me to thinking that I should put all that stuff back in before I pop the motor in because a lot of this stuff plugs into rectifier, battery, key, I mean, you know, the ignition switch, that type of thing. So I'm going to dig through all the boxes of parts I have and uh, get all that stuff out so I can, I can get it organized. But while I'm doing that, I'm also going to lay out all the parts that I have and figure out uh, what stuff I have, what stuff I don't have, and start hunting some stuff down. Um, oh, and you're hearing music in the background. That's my friend George Marinelli, and it's his album, Burn It All Down. Not just burn it down, he wants it all burned down. Um, I don't think he's going to come after me because that's playing. The guy's a killer guitar player. Go check out his website. I'll put a link in the description thingy -o down below. Well, I've got everything down from the rafters. I have the, the wheels and tank seat, the exhaust and handlebars up there. It's just because it was easier to keep them up there. And I got all these boxes open. Uh, start looking through those and see what all I need. Um, some stuff I've already been able to round up. For example, I wanted to uh, uh, redo the forks. I've got a new pair of fork boots for it. I've got some head, ga I've got some head gaskets. I have a new cylinder head and I don't know why I have that. I bought it, I guess it was on online and I saw it and bought it. There's a new seat in there, a new old seat to replace this one that's got the Frankenstein stitches in it. I talked about that earlier. Um, just some odds and ends are in there, but I need to find what shouldn't be too hard, some tires for these wheels and tubes. Uh, these tires are rock hard, and the, these rims are gonna need some cleaning. Handlebars are okay, the hand grips are a little funky. I kind of like the fact that this one still has a, a bit of a ground off end on it, and uh, that was from a crash I had in 1966. <laughs> Low speed crash. I also need to find a battery that's uh, completely hammered as would be expected for something that old. I, actually, I think this is probably a second battery because my dad had this thing uh, sort of held in there by tape <laughs> because the rubber band that holds it probably rotted away years ago. But anyway, that's gonna be the next, the next job I think is to go through everything, make sure I've started, you know, make a list and start tracking down some of the stuff that's missing and uh, get the motor back in the frame and uh, someday that thing will run again, I'm sure. <laughs> that's it for now. Talk to you guys later.